Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, come on. Here's the stuff I am taking to the game today. Remote camera setup, tripod, my water bottle, sunscreen, taking a 400. And I'll just carry this in, put my 7D Mark II and 5D Mark III. Two 7200s today, one I'm borrowing from Lauren. Use it for the remote camera and still have one available to shoot with walking around. I also shoot with the Canon 1DX Mark II mainly, and that's what's taking the video right now. Got to use my computer to edit during the game, and my charger. Cleaning things, memory cards, got my batteries, a couple extra ones, two card readers, and two backup card readers. Cables for those. Little kit of wrenches, little screwdriver, harness, little towel, face mask. Backup face mask that my mom made me. Thanks, mom. I'll probably wear this hat for the game. Now that I'm all packed up, it's time for the hardest part of the day. Saying goodbye to Rose. Bye, Rosie. So I typically like to have a plan. <laughs> Copyright. I typically like to have a plan going into a game, even if it's just a small one where I'm gonna shoot from. Uh, I was there yesterday, so. What I'm gonna do today is set up my remote up high to start. It's probably really overexposed. All right, so just got to Fenway Park. So I'm gonna go in there, uh, set up my remote, have a little lunch. It's about two hours before game time. Since you can't go on the field during BP, there's not that many great images to get during the pregame. So I spent a little extra time with Rosie and now we're here. All right, just made it through security. Uh, checked my bag, took my temperature. Make sure I filled out my little work form. Can't really use the elevator, so you gotta walk all the way up to the top. My safety cable the remote to the chairs there, just for an extra safety precaution. Have a little lunch, and then get my code replacement ready by putting in the starting pictures and making sure that all the starters in the lineups have the right positions. Inning number three just ended. Walking back up to the top, take some photos up there and see if my remote got any of the home run swings. Here's some shots from the remote mixed in with shots from behind home plate where I was sitting. In the sixth inning, I brought the remote down behind home plate and get a view behind the batter. Here are a couple extra photos from this game and the games I shot this weekend. And you can see that when I get a little bit bored and the game's sort of not that close, I'll try some different shooting techniques. Just got home and it was like 99 degrees today. Two great things about day games, the sun and the light for the photos, and that you get home by 5.30 and go hang out with people. So, peace out. All right, we hope you like this video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, give it a like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing what it's like to shoot a MLB game with an empty stadium. All right, see you next time.